Hi, John Capobianco here from Las Vegas in the amazing Encore. You can kind of see the background there. But anyway, I have a really exciting, uh, you know, new discovery. It's been out there for a little bit of time, but I wanted to really get my hands on it and make a video about it. And this is the Gemini CLI, Command Line Interface. And it is amazing, especially for those of us who love the Command Line Interface, the CLI. So this is going to be merging artificial intelligence, generative AI, large language models, model context protocol with a command line interface and specifically tailored around network automation using Pi ATS as a few and a few other tools. So let's quickly take a look at this. The documentation and getting going is super, super simple, especially on a Mac or even on Windows. You just NPX and install the CLI, right? Uh, or, you know, NPM install it. You can install it with Homebrew. And then you simply run Gemini. All right, now I have a few other tabs open here. We're going to be working with this topology in the Cisco Modeling Labs from Cisco DevNet Sandbox. And let's just uh, show you how. So in the settings.json file, inside of .gemini, you're going to add your MCP servers and you add them like you add them to VS Code or to Cloud Desktop or to Cursor. So this is an example of the Pi ETS settings to add the MCP. So let's hit the CLI and let's just launch Gemini. All right. So there we go. So one, ask questions, edit files or run commands. Two, be specific for best results. Three, slash help for more information. Now, it gives me a warning that I should be running this in a project-specific directory, not in my home directory. And also, it's using the Gemini.md file. So you can give it specific instructions, master prompts, parent prompts, themes, specific instructions on how to respond, when do we use MCPs, right? So that's the Gemini.md file. All right, now inside of that Gemini folder, you can see that there is a Gemini MD file, right? So I have given it some specific instructions about selector and Major League Baseball. All right, so that Gemini MD file is sort of where you can put in your own personality, your own themes, your own uh, overriding prompts. And you can see I can do control T to view, or I can do slash MCP to see the five MCP servers. Let's try control T. Wow. Wow, I've never tried that. So control T gives me all of the MCPs, including their doc strings and how these tools are used per MCP, right? And I can also just do a slash MCP for a more concatenated list. Now you can see that I have the six Pi ETS tools that are ready and running. I have ServiceNow. I have 81 GitHub tools. I have NIST and I have my demo selector three instance with 10 tools. So let's get right into it. Can you please use Pi ETS uh, to compare the routing tables from devices R1 and R2. Please give me a summary report in Markdown with emojis. Enter. So it's going to give us cute little things while it's running here. Our hamsters are working, exploring PyTS for table comparison, devising the comparison logic, refining the parsing process, refining the comparison process, implementing parallel execution, orchestrating the comparison. And now I'm going to give it the yes, always allow tools from server Pi ETS. And I'm also going to do the same thing because it wants to run it in parallel. Isn't that cool? So it's going to run two different Pi ETS uh, instances one on router one and one on router two. That is really cool. There's our routing table answers, the JSON payloads, 
right, from router one and from router two. I had no idea it would do it concurrently. Ooh, here's the routing table comparison, right? Prefix router one status, router two status. That's pretty neat, pretty neat. And common prefixes, router one only prefixes, router two only prefixes. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to say, can you please create a GitHub report of these routing table findings, more of a text-driven summary on GitHub automate your network repository packet conversations main branch with a commit message of from Gemini CLI. Now let's just try this. Let's see if we can now push this up into GitHub just from the CLI from a natural language query. Notice, no Python, no VS Code, no Postman, no curls, no nothing. So I can do that for you. Would you like me to name the file? What would you like me to name the file? Uh, that name is fine, thank you. Because I didn't specify the file name. Very cool. Really learning a lot about this, even just recording the video. So parallel PyTS calls, which is mind blowing. Let's see if we can call four devices. Let me see if I can do that. So let's just do the one thing at a time. So I'm gonna push this up into um, GitHub. Oh, I have to allow the tool. So always allow. And it's gonna create the file. I've successfully created it and here's the hyperlink. So let's go visit. Well, here's the repo here. If I refresh the page, I should have a report. Uh, let's try that again. Oh, here's our routing table comparison. Common prefixes, prefixes unique to R1, prefixes unique to R2, protocol differences, right up on GitHub just through natural language through the CLI. Okay, so thank you. Next, I would like to find all uh, down interfaces on devices R1, R2, switch one, switch two. If you find down interfaces, make another GitHub report and create a service now problem for my network operations team. Cool, so reviewing network interfaces. Look at this, it's going to run it on all four devices in parallel, PyETS. It's spawning them as threads in the CLI. That is an, a really, really cool, unexpected feature. There's all my answers from all four devices. <laughs> wow. Pinpointing down devices or interfaces, defining down, compiling reports and problems. I'm going to always allow service now. So there's my GitHub report. There's my service now report. I found the following interfaces to be down. I've created a GitHub report here and I've created a service now problem here. So let's go find the GitHub report. And there is my down interface report. And let's check service now here for problems. I think I should have three problems now instead of two. Sorry, I, I, I haven't been in this dashboard in a while. Uh, it's just refreshing now. So hopefully there's three problems. And one of them is a downed interface report. There we go, three problems. Multiple interfaces down in a down state. And here's my ServiceNow problem. Very cool, right? With all the details of the down interfaces inside of ServiceNow. And this is a low priority ticket. And there we go, downed interfaces. So let me do something that's gonna even blow your mind even more. 
We're going to do slash quit. Now, I'm going to, this is the summary. So we had 100% success calls. Here's the time. Here's the API time, the tool time, the number of tokens that we used, input and output, savings highlights. Some were used from a cache, reducing costs. We could do run stats model for a full breakdown. Now, let me really blow you away. What if I don't want to do that? What if I just want to do this? Dash P, can you please check the software version on device R1 with PyETS and then check NIST for CVEs? Um, please report back with your findings, right? So if I don't want to do a conversational thing, now don't worry about this error. I was a little concerned about this at first. It seems to be a permissions thing with dot trash or something. Don't know. I might report this back to the Gemini team or for the Gemini team's watching, you get this weird error uh, when you do the dash P mode. However, just be patient, just be patient. Um, and I maybe should have added that. Hang on, let me cancel this. I forgot something. I'm going to add dash dash YOLO, YOLO, so that way it can just run the MCPs because it's probably not been permitted to run the NIST MCP yet. So instead of having the prompt or worrying about it not having the permission to run NIST as a MCP tool, you can add dash dash or YOLO. So check it out. Of course, I will start by checking the software version on device R1. I will then use the information to search for CVEs. So it's like I've turned my Mac terminal, my Mac CLI, into an artificial intelligence. And not just an artificial intelligence, so check it out. It just keeps going. I have found the software version to be 17.12.1. I will now search for CVEs related to this version. Fortunately, there was no exact matches for software version. I'll try a broader search version, see if there's any relevant CVEs. So there's no public CVEs for this version. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? So just dash P. Okay. So I would really get started with this immediately. Uh, if I were you, I would go ahead and clone that repo or install NPX install, get it installed into your terminal. Add your API token or your API key for Gemini or for your LLM of choice and start using Gemini CLI at the CLI. From there, go get my PyTS repo my ICE repo, my, my um, ACI repo. There are tons of repos, the GitHub repo, the ServiceNow repo, the NIST repo, um, and add them to your Gemini. There doesn't seem to be a tool limit. VS Code has 128 tool limit. I have more than 128 tools, I'm pretty sure, or I'm very close, I'd like to see. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, reach out. I will be making a follow-up video that is specific to selectors MCP and how the selector MCP can be incorporated with the Gemini CLI. Thanks again from Las Vegas. We'll see you real soon.